Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Funko Pops on the Rise. This episode was recorded on January 7th, 2021. The first Funko Pops on the Rise for this year. We have Star Wars, Disney, Sailor Moon, Cheshire Cat, and much more. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss out on what pops are going up in value. Also guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on when I drop one of my latest videos that I like today. Be sure to leave a comment down below, hit that like button guys as always, and let's get right into this episode. One of the favorites of the weeks is the Funko Pops on the rise. First up is we got some Sailor Moon Funko Pops to talk about, and this is actually the biggest gainer of the week. We actually had some good gains this week on some Funko Pops on the rise but it is the Black Lady from the 2018 San Diego Comic-Con. And this was actually the uh, summer convention exclusive going from 145 to 190, up $45. Surprisingly, I didn't know any information as far as why this one's going up in value. I watched Sailor Moon as a kid. I don't know if many of you guys did as well, but if you are a Sailor Moon fan, I know like the makeup released last year, that was pretty hype, but I don't know why this one's trending up, but there you go. We have two more Sailor Moons to talk about. It is just Sailor Mars, only up five bucks, but I thought I would mention it. Sailor Mars is an older pop, which was released in 2016. So if you're looking for some decent Game, go ahead and pick up that one. And then here we have one that's actually up $15. This is actually, in my opinion, one of the better gains of today as well. Sailor Moon with Moonstick and Luna, the 2016 release. This one is actually, as far as percentage wise, is this the biggest percentage gain of today? Let me check. Yeah, as far as percentage wise, this is the biggest gain percentage wise. So up $32 to $47. Actually, this is actually one of my favorite pops on here today as well. Next on our list, a popular character, maybe not. It is the Witch. And this one has gone only up three bucks, but I thought I would mention it. Anytime a common Funko Pop goes up in value, I like to add it up. This is obviously from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Uh, released, this one was released in 2017, so kind of a newer pop, and I think this pop looks spot on to the actual witch from the Snow White movie. And then we have the Evil Queen, another pop that looks pretty well done, Hot Topic exclusive diamond edition, up $7. The diamond collection is not my favorite line, but they're slowly starting to gain some value, so that might be worthwhile picking up some diamond uh, collection. But this one was released in 2018. Now we're going to talk about some pop rides, guys. I added a lot of pop rides on here. I know a lot of you guys are interested in these. I personally don't have any of them, and I'm actively looking for some good pop rides. Here we have the Cheshire Cat at the Mad Tea Party released for the WonderCon 2020. I'm trying to remember what this one was going for when it first released. Wasn't it 30 bucks, guys? 30 bucks, you gotta pick this one up. And now it's going all the way up to 360, only up 10 bucks. But man, it's just one of, this one hurts my heart because this is one of the WonderCon Funko Pops that I missed out on. <sighs> only up 10 bucks, but still, still some good value there. We got some more pop rides. It is Bobby with Dean Summer Convention exclusive going from 260 to 290 up to $30. Another good one that has gone up in value. This was released in 2017. This was, when it was released, it was also shared at Funko, or at Hot Topic. So for you Supernatural fans out there, I've seen a couple episodes because one of my buddies, one of my roommates, he loved Supernatural, just absolutely loved it. So I've seen some. It's not bad, I just never really got into it. And then we have Baby, with Sam, the picture's kind of blurry, but you guys get the idea going from 140 to 150. I think the final season is upon us. That's why these pops may be trending up in value. But this is the Chase one. 
And guys, get this, surprisingly, this one was released in 2018. The common version of this sells for 140. This one's up 10 bucks as well. I like how, let's see if we can see the differences between these. I think it's just the car, or maybe. I'm not exactly sure, it's hard to tell, but because the picture's kind of stretched out. But for all you Supernatural fans, maybe pick this one up now, but I think the hype is so big on these that I might wait till it dies down a little bit unless these just shoot up in value. But it's crazy to think that you don't really see a common Funko Pop be the same price as a Chase, even though they look, they both look fantastic. Obviously I had, whenever I put these together, I look for some Star Wars Funko Pops to add on here. And this one's no different today. I, <laughs> I I got, I like how many Star Wars I added. One, two, three, four. Four good ones, guys. Four good ones. So we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, Revenge of the Sith. This was in a Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box released in 2017. And this one's going from $45 to $65. I think I found a good one, guys. This one's up 20 bucks, up 44%. So that's that's awesome. I think that uh, that one has some good gain to it. Here's a little bit, uh, one that's a little bit more pricey, one that's out of my price range right now. It is from the 2019 Star Wars Celebration, the Blue Chrome Boba Fett from 280 to 300. Man, Boba Fett, whenever they put it in Chrome, whenever they put it a slap and exclusive on it, it just brings this value up. It is crazy. This is one that I would have loved to have and one I probably should have got a long time ago. I think you could have gotten a bundle, uh, gotten all the Star Wars bundle Star Wars Celebration for 2019 for like four or five hundred bucks back in the day, like a, like a year or so ago. But this one's way too pricey for my blood. But man, someday, maybe. But no, never get it. Here is the Han Solo common one. This one was needs to be on the box release from 2011. This was gone from 230 to 250. This, I mean, obviously the pop doesn't really look like Han Solo. It's kind of, um, it's OG for sure. But for all Star Wars collectors, this is one that you would want in the collection. And yeah, it's gone up significantly. There are actually ones that are more expensive than this, but the averages right now are, are 250. And then last but not least, the common Gamorrean Guard that was released in 2011. They, they released some Gamorrean Guards for the Mandalorian and I think a lot of people are sleeping on those. I wouldn't necessarily sleep on them, but some of the OG Star Wars Funko Pops starting to shoot up in value. It may be due to the Mandalorian, maybe, maybe not. Uh, who knows? I just think Star Wars uh, Funko Pops, you can't really go wrong with the 2011 um, year in my personal opinion, in that blue box. I really like them. But yeah, only up 10 bucks, but there you go. Some great Funko Pops from today. Um, like I said, that that Sailor Moon with the with the moon stick and Luna, that was one of my favorites from today. I think the, uh, obviously the Star Wars ones are some of my favorites, the blue chromes. And for all you people that don't like blue chrome, man, you probably love to have that Boba Fett <laughs> just because of the value on there. But anyways, guys, if you guys have any of these Funko Pops, let me know in the comments. Let me know which ones you guys have. Or let me know which ones you guys are actively trying to collect. Love to hear from you guys. Also, be ready for when the Funko Fair is going, guys. If you haven't seen that Funko News video, make sure to go watch it. But Funko Fair, we're going to be doing all the highlights of it every single day that it's releasing stuff. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Be sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you like Funko Pops on the Rise, and share this video with your friends. As always, guys, big by bed, collect all them pops. I will see you on another episode of Funko Pops on the Rise. Uh, this has been a Funko Pops on the Rise for January 7th, 2021. Peace, I am out. I will see you next time.